Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Techie Tech, where we make tech easy and accessible for you. I'm Saga and today we are going to walk through the process of installing Android Studio on our Windows. Android Studio is the official IDE for Android development and it's packed with everything you need to build amazing apps. So if you are ready to get started with Android development, you are in the right place. Before we jump into the installation, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and if you have any question or run into issues, drop them in the comments below. I am here to help you. Alright, let's get Android Studio up and running on your Windows PC. First open your web browser and go to the official android website by searching android studio and click on the first link this is the official website developer.android.com slash studio click on the link on the home page you will see a download android studio button like this one yeah you may get different versions of android studio here like this is the caller right now but you may get it different uh, when you are watching the video it may be different so don't worry at all you just need to click on the download android studio button and it will ask you for the terms and conditions so make sure to review and accept the terms and conditions before proceeding so just scroll down and check and click on the check button i have read and agree with the above terms and conditions then it will allow you to download the android studio for windows so you just need to click on the download after accepting the terms and conditions so it will start the it will start downloading for you just on the download is complete locate the downloaded file in your downloads folder so this is my downloads folder it will be an executable file usually named something like android studio ite windows.exe yeah like this double click on the file to start the installation process this is the android studio setup wizard and we just need to click on next button and here you will get some components that you want to install or not like android virtual devices here i don't want to install it because it takes so much space in my drive and i don't have so much space in my drive and uh, what is this uh, you can see that it helps to test your apps on the virtual machine it will uh, generate a virtual device on your system but it uh, it generally slow down your computer so i just don't want to install it so you may skip this part or you just it depends upon you whether you want to install it or not so just click on next button and then it will ask you for the installation directory so this is the default directory where the Android Studio is going to be installed. So don't need to change it. Just click on next and it also looks like good. Just click on install button and it will start the installing some components. The installation process has been completed. So just click on next button and tick the start Android Studio and just click on finish button then it will launch android studio for you and it will start downloading some components and it is asking for missing sdk it means uh, we don't have any sdk so just click on next and it will ask you to download the some components so there are many components like uh, uh, android sdk so or sdk platform that you want to install uh, in me in your case it may be differ so just click on the sdk uh, it may be around 450 7 MB and the Android API 35 which is the latest so just and this is the path where the SDK is going to be installed so just click on next button and these are the components that are going to be installed so it will take few minutes Dep uh, so just accept the terms and conditions and click on finish button so it will start the downloads of components that require to use Android Studio. So just wait and watch because it takes time and also it depends upon your internet speed.
now the installation of the components has been completed here you may see android sdk is up to date so click on finish button and you may see the home screen of the android studio where you may create new project by clicking on the new project button and here are the some already predefined activities like a bottom like bottom navigation views activity empty views activity and basic views activity with a floating point button so i'm going to create a empty views activity just click on next button and uh, this is our project attributes like my application this is the name and the package name is going to be com.example.myapplication and this is the our location of the our application so you may get the location here and you may change it also and the language that we are going to work on that is java and kotlin is and kotlin is also there so but i prefer work on java and this is the minimum sdk and the minimum sdk means it can work on the lowest api and uh, the lowest api is 4.1 but i don't think so is the <laughs> device that runs on 4.1 jelly bean system and i think this is the uh, operating system when the android just launched so this is the old one so and uh, i think 9.0 will be good so uh, it will uh, run app on approximately 89.6 percent device so don't worry our app will run on approximately 89.6 percent of devices that is more than enough and uh, the build configuration language it should be kotlin dsl build.gretel.kts it's recommended by the android studio so just uh, so just click on finish button and uh, it will start downloading some components that is required for your application again it will take two minutes to get it completed so wait till then and now it's go it's now it's now it has been uh, installed all the components just click on finish button again and this is the android studio with our application that we have created my application now the building uh, you may see here the building of the project is being processed and uh, it may take few minutes more now you may check here our application has set up completed uh, this is our application this is the java folder and this is our main activity where all the program all the coding is being set up so this is the main part and uh, you may run your application by just clicking on the play button and uh, or you may just uh, attach your device by using cable or a wi-fi so wi-fi needs to be connected on the same wi-fi uh, if you wanna pair your device using wi-fi so so this is our first application and we can test it by just pair device by using wi-fi or a cable connection so i am going to connect device by using wi-fi with the same network and there is one more condition android version should be 11 or more than 11 so now what do we need first we need to enable the developer option on our mobile so i'm here to tell you that how we can enable developer option in our mobile so go to setting first then go to about devices and click on the version here you may find the build version or baseband version you just need to click on the build version yeah after that it will ask you for uh, a pattern or password if you have set up just enter your password and now you are in developer mode so we have just enabled our developer option so what so what do we now we just need to go to the additional setting and find the developer option yeah this is the developer option and what we what should we do now we need to enable Wi-Fi debugging this is the USB debugging if you are using a cable connection so you may need to enable it USB debugging and this one is the wireless debugging yeah if you wanna uh, 
test your apps via Wi-Fi so you need to enable it so first of all uh, just click on the on button and you may uh, see option pay device with QR code just click on it yeah it will ask for a QR code scanner so this uh, here I have been uh, here I have scanned my QR code and here you may see on the computer screen that the Oppo CPS 2371 this is the my uh, mobile name and that is connected with the system and also you may see here uh, this is the running device so you may test your app on the current device that is connected to your Android studio so via network so you may see this is the network internet 5g and on my phone is also connected with the same network and I'm going to run the app just click on the play button and it will take some time to build the app as you can see the launching on devices is performing is being performed here you may see the hello world application on my phone this is the first application that we have created So we have successfully run our first application on Android Studio via using our phone. So this is all about installing the Android Studio on your system. If you encounter any issue or have questions, just leave them in the comments below. I will help you definitely. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video